Well, John and Christine, we've been waiting quite a while, more than 10 days for the conference to dole out the punishment. And it finally came today with the Mountain West delivering four UNR players with suspensions for their role in the postgame brawl against UNLV. Let's show you new video that Fox 5 just obtained from the university up in Reno. And we can tell you that Austin Arnold, who was the Reno player who sucker punched UNLV quarterback Kenyon Oblak from behind, that's the action that most see as the major instigator of the brawl. He was suspended for two games. Daniel Brown and Hasia Sakona each received a one-game suspension. Gabriel Sewell of UNR suspended for one half of a game. The suspension for the players will be on the Wolfpack's bowl game, which is on January 3rd. Arnold's second game of his suspension will be served in the first game of next season. And we should know that the other three players besides Arnold are seniors, so they could not be suspended past that bowl game that they are going to for the two that were suspended for a full game. Their college careers are all but over. The Mountain West says they conducted a detailed investigation and they said that they wanted to prioritize dishing out Reno's punishment now because they did make a bowl game. Also today, university police in Reno asking for the public's help to identify fans who had a role in the fight or threw things at people in the field. Let's bring it back out here live. We can tell you that UNLV is not off scot-free on this at all. As a matter of fact, the conference says that they are still investigating UNLV players' role in this incident, and they are expected to announce the action against UNLV later on this week. We are here at T-Mobile. There is a hockey game tonight. The Golden Knights taking on the Chicago Blackhawks. Vince Sapienza standing over just to my right. He's going to come at the bottom of the hour. He's going to give you a preview of the game and get you ready for face-off. That's it for now. We're live inside T-Mobile. Kevin Bollinger, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.